Winter is here, Christmas is just around the corner and so is China's new outbreak. Yes, there is another major outbreak in China's Beijing, neighboring Tianjin and the northeast province of Liaoning, currently the hardest hit areas of the wave reported cases and undiagnosed pneumonia. Liaoning province, which is located about 400 miles northeast of Beijing, the capital of China, is battling high case numbers. Taiwan's FTV News quoted an employee at Dalian's Children Hospital stating that the only emergency department was operational, which outpatient clinics no longer available. Schools in Beijing are reportedly reporting high levels of absenteeism and even dismissing entire classes for at least a week if some students are ill and warning parents to be extra cautious. With major hospitals in the city has reported that on average day, they are seeing about 1,200 patients enter their emergency room. Now, what is this new pneumonia outbreak in China? Could this be the start of another lockdown and pandemic again? So there has been a recent rise in respiratory illness in China. According to latest reports, it has been termed as the H9N2. At a press conference on November 13th, China's National Health Commission reported an increase in respiratory diseases. Several common respiratory viruses are circulating right now, including influenza, mycoplasma pneumoniae, RSV, and SARS-CoV-2. The SARS-CoV-2, the virus that caused COVID-19. These viruses can cause respiratory illness like colds, flu, and pneumonia. On November 21, Media and ProMed reported clusters of undiagnosed pneumonia in children in northern China. ProMed is the same disease surveillance system that initially reported an unknown infection in Wuhan at the end of 2019, an illness that all of us will remember for the rest of our lives as COVID-19. What is ProMed? ProMed is like a global news service for infectious diseases. It keeps track of outbreaks of new or unusual diseases all over the world. On Wednesday, the World Health Organization requested that China provide more information about a recent outbreak of respiratory illness among children. The WHO specifically requested additional epide epi epidemiologic and clinical information as well as laboratory results from this reported huge number of children falling ill. Now, although official figures on the numbers of cases are not available yet, Hospitals in Beijing have witnessed a sudden increase in patients, especially in the children's wards. Al Jazeera updated one major hospital in the city has reported that on average day, they are witnessing about 1,200 patients enter their emergency rooms. Beijing Children's Hospital revealed that its internal medicine department is seeing more than 7,000 cases daily. Beijing Jingdu Children's Hospital highlighted a significant rise in mycoplasma pneumonia infections placing immense pressure on the medical resources. With 90% of the hospital's 300 beds occupied and long queues forming outside. Now these are huge numbers and can you imagine 7,000 cases? The situation is similarly dire in Tianjin, a coastal city just east of Beijing. Tianjin Children's Hospital set a record on November 18th with 13,171 young patients visiting its outpatient and emergency departments in a single day, as reported by a local newspaper. With this outbreak in China, it's not very recent, although the updates about this outbreak is reaching the surface now, but it actually started since mid-October. Northern China has reported an increase in influenza-like illness compared to the same period in the previous three years when Wuhan reported about the epi epidemic which later turned into COVID-19 pandemic. With China's history of covering up such information from the rest of the world and its own media, best example is COVID-19 pandemic which wouldn't have turned into a pandemic at all if only China was more transparent. Having said that, we don't even know for sure that these numbers I've mentioned above are even near the original statistics. High chances that it might be much more. This H9N2 outbreak in China is not very recent, although the updates outbreak is reaching the surface now. Compared to the same period in the previous three years when Wuhan reported the epidemic, which later turned into COVID-19, The question is, how did this start? 
according to Franco Isbelux, director of University College London Genetic Institute. China may be repaying an immunity debt after the lengthy lockdown, which must have drastically reduced the circulation of respiratory bugs and hence decreased immunity to endemic bugs. Health officials are also worried that winter will exacerbate the spread of infections after a warning from China's National Weather Authority that starting on Thursday, the country's cold temperatures will plunge even further. According to the Chinese government, the reason might be because people are interacting more now that COVID-19 restrictions have been lifted. This means that germs are spreading more easily. As of November 1, 2023, China has lifted all COVID-19 related travel restrictions, including pre-departure testings, quarantine requirements and health declaration forms. This means that there are no longer any COVID restrictions in place. However, China is currently experiencing a wave of respiratory illness, including influenza, mycoplasma pneumoniae, respiratory syncytial virus, and SARS-CoV-2. This is due to the number of factors, including the lifting of COVID-19 restrictions, increased travel and gatherings, and the circulation of non-pathogens. The Chinese government is taking steps to address the wave of H9N2, including issuing public health advisories, urging people to get vaccinated against influenza and COVID-19, and increasing the availability of medical resources. However, it is important to note that the situation is still fluid and could change rapidly. But the one question remains, would this impact India? According to the World Health Organization, it is too early to say whether the H9N2 outbreak in China will have an impact on India. The WHO is closely monitoring the situation and will provide updates as they become available. The Health Ministry of India maintained that India is prepared for any kind of public health exigency. There is low risk to India from both the avian influenza case reported from China as well as the clusters of respiratory illness, said the Health Ministry on November 24. The Union Health Ministry is closely monitoring the recent outbreak, H9N2 cases, and cluster of re respiratory illness among the children in northern China. The Ministry of Health and Family Welfare issued a press release addressing concerns raised by some media reports about the clustering of respiratory illness cases in the region. Speaking to ANI, Dr. Ajay Shukla from RML Hospital said, the World Health Organization is concerned about the surge respiratory illness among the children in China and is trying to seek details from Chinese government. He added, specifics about the disease cannot be discussed till details are received and the surge could be due to decreased immunity among children due to the prolonged COVID-19 lockdowns. He also added that India is we is on a wait and watch as there has been no impact yet the indian government is taking these steps to ensure that india is prepared for potential outbreak of respiratory illnesses the government is also urging people to take precautions to protect themselves from this illness <laughs>